Happiness in marriage isn't something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. Most marriages come in kits, like a, a jigsaw puzzle. You, you gotta put it together yourself. May you have love, and may you find it in loving one another. Because the love you share, it, it makes burdens lighter because you divide them, and it makes joys more intense because you share them. It makes you stronger, so you could be involved in life in ways that you dared not risk alone. The night we met, we stayed up all night just talking, and the time just flew by. It still feels like that was only yesterday. All the snowy evenings walking through the cold, wintry air together to join Rob and Steph for karaoke and try to discreetly hold hands under the table until we got caught. All the laps walking around the lakes, catching Pokemon together. I still can't believe we've made it here today. I can hardly believe it's already been five years. Five years of being there for each other through thick and thin, through good times and bad. Years I wouldn't want to spend with anybody else. I will be your best friend and your partner, and together we will create a life of adventure and happiness. I couldn't imagine growing old with anyone but you. I love you now and always. On February 3rd, 2018, I walked down the winding stairs into your apartment basement in Uptown with absolutely no idea how my life was about to change. As the great Winnie the Pooh said, as soon as I saw you, I knew an adventure was going to happen. Over the past five years, we faced difficult losses and our share of challenges, but nothing ever felt impossible because we were with, with each other through it all. Today is one of the best days of my life, but you know how hard it is without my parents here. I wish more than anything that you could have met my dad and that you could have spent more time with my mom. You're my partner, my lover, and my best friend. I promise to always care for you, to support you, to be there for you, to go on dates with you, to challenge you, and to love you wholeheartedly, no matter what. You're my best catch, my perfect shiny legendary, and I will always Pikachu-choose you. Because you have chosen one another, honored each other with the gift of those rings, and spoken vows in front of family and friends. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time as husband and wife, Anna and Jim kiss your bride. to hang out. I was introduced to Anna as just somebody hanging around the apartment playing Pokemon Go. But I got home and Gwen goes, oh, how was it? Was it fun? I said, yeah, we played Pokemon Go. I met some people, new friends I hang out. Steph was there. I said, yeah, and there's this, this girl named Anna. And 
I don't know if Jim knows it, but she's into him. And Gwen goes, like, into him, into him? I go, I don't know, into him, into him. And she goes, well, did you ask him? And I said, no. Jim and I have an agreement. When it's time for it to be my business, he'll make it my business. Today you got le legally married, right? We signed papers. Uh, we then had an emotional ceremony. I don't like emotions either. I don't trust them. So we're going to have our own ceremony right now with something I do believe in. Repeat after me. If Pokeballs worked on people, if Pokeballs worked on people, I would use my one and only Master Ball on you. I would use my one and only Master Ball on you. All right, they're legit. <laughs> who know Anna are familiar with how much love and effort she commits to everything she does. Whether it's her pets, Minnesota sports teams, or her relationships, Anna puts her whole heart into supporting everything that she's passionate about. Her relationship with Jim is no exception. I mean, clearly, with how much she loves Minnesota and Minnesota sports, she must truly love Jim to overlook the fact that he's a Packers fan. <laughs> But jokes aside, it's easy to see that these two are an excellent match. There are obvious reasons. They have many shared interests, such as corgis, uh, twins trying out local Twin Cities cuisine, and checking out new polka stops in Pokemon Go. But there are more subtle ways you can see that Anna and Jim are meant for each other. They complement each other in the best way. They are supportive of each other's interests, are genuinely happy when spending time together, I'm so happy you two found each other and I'm incredibly excited for the future that you two hold. Yeah.